G'day folks, Matt from mattnewman.com. Today's tip of the day is working with live text, email addresses, memos and meetings. Now this is a pretty useful one inside Lotus Notes 853. What you'll see with any email address inside Notes 853, a live text recogniser will actually pick up that email address and when you click on it, it'll go and activate an action. Now at the moment, I haven't got any actions configured for a live text email recogniser. So let's go and set a couple up. Over inside your email, if you open any email message, what you want to do is go up here to your toolbar and click the configure a widget from the current context tool. Pretty simple, I want to build out a widget that fills out this notes form. I'm going to call it create a memo. I'm going to wire this as an action and I'm going to link it to the send to field inside the message form. Go next. So there's my name, create a memo. I want to recognize content and the content that I want to recognize is person and you'll see that that will switch over to person email. That's the content I want to recognize for an email live text widget. That's it, finish, done, go back to the document there's the email address still highlighted in live text, but this time when I click on it, you'll see that that'll fill out an email for me automatically. It's easy enough as well to go and link that to a meeting invitation. So if we go into Lotus Notes, jump into your calendar, and again, open any meeting. Again, back up to our configure a widget from the current context tool up on the Lotus Notes toolbar. Let's again build out a widget that fills out this notes form. I'm going to call this one invite to meeting. I'm going to wire it as an action. This time the field that I'm looking for is the enter send to field. Next, same again, I want to recognize content. I'm going to switch this over to person. Again, it's activated person email for me. Go next. I've now configured a widget with live text that will invite someone to a meeting. Go back to that document with an email address in it. Click on it now and I get two choices. Do I want to create a memo or invite the person to a meeting? When I invite the person to a meeting, you can see that their email address is automatically added in as a required recipient. So there we go, folks, working with live text, email addresses, memos and meetings. Enjoy.